a very warm welcome if you've just joined me on my channel 90 to be on things how you doing how are you keeping hope everybody's safe and sound where you are we're going to be looking at the cameras from hp ren i'll leave the links to that in the description box down below so it's nice and simple for everybody to find pictures from the camera butcher hill south date on the camera is the 11th of november 2017 we're going to be looking at four different types of pictures and i'll go through them as we show them but uh yeah chemtrail haze in the background light coming down from our sun simulator the sun is behind it that is a fact no sun no life in the story the sun simulator its purpose for is to take the shadows away if an object comes between the sun and the earth and that is the whole idea of the sun simulator and in conjunction with the controls you can see exactly what's going on in the background but there also seems to be something going on up here look at the clouds and the next picture we're looking at is color near infrared and we get a couple more clouds that suddenly appear a couple of lines going on down here and you can see how much light is being given off by this chemtrail haze in the background black and white good old black and white reminds me of the old days at any rate you can see there's a few more bits and pieces here and uh, you can see there's some sort of interaction going on down here and we have a spike of light possibly a chemtrail not really too sure a couple of those clouds have disappeared and yeah you can see how bright that uh, haze is black and white near infrared looks like a chemtrail not really sure what's going on and we've got the clouds over here very strange looking clouds i've got to say and this picture is from Mesa Grande South. Date on the camera is the 13th of the 11th, 2017. And yeah, looks totally normal. Nothing wrong. Let's click to the next picture. Are you kidding me? We've got a lens that goes around the sun simulator that goes in front. And is that reflection just there? yeah this looks totally totally normal nothing wrong in that if you want to know more about the sun simulator please pop over and see jeff b he does some amazing work on the mechanics of how it all goes together i'll just show it's there and i have my own theories and jeff has some very good theories of his own thanks jeff for all the hard work i'll leave the links in the description box down below so it's nice and simple for everybody to find but the sky looks an absolute mess and yes we are breathing that in color near infrared you can see the lensing system and it sticks out just there you can see the chemtrails and the sky yeah what's going on with our sun and sun simulator and i just find that quite interesting lions peak east 11th of november 2017 and yeah everything looks quite normal we even have a bit of a fog or a mist going on down here everything looks really really good we come into black and white and things start to change and how things change when we look at different types of photographs different types of frequencies black and white produces some amazing images and you can see the lensing system just there and there's the other one just there and we have two lens flares possibly projections there but they're not there but they're there but they're not there but they're there any rate yes again a part of a lensing system we've seen it near enough every single photograph and this is totally totally normal sky is white washed out our sun looks like a giant eye in the sky near color infrared and yeah things start to change oh yeah you can see the chemtrail lines and we have this blue hue around the sun and sun simulator and it's black around the outside of that and normal our skies look really really normal why have we got train tracks running through our sky and here we got the black and white picture and how it changes to the color picture totally totally different and you can see what's going on here we've got our sun simulator there and it acts like a great big torch in the sky like i've said many many times and the lower the chemtrails the bigger the sun appears and that's exactly what the chemtrails are for to reflect 
the light back so it makes it really really hard to see anything behind if we were standing there looking at this it would be extremely extremely bright in the sky and anybody who drives knows exactly what I'm talking about you've got the ripping of the Sun down there and quite an interesting lens flare just there black and white near infrared and the lens flare has changed doesn't it look like a wheel shivers badge possibly what is that reflection of that's what you've got to ask yourself and how the skies changed we got two chemtrails there now and we can see the sun simulator just there and we've got the ripping of the picture just here which we didn't have in the color picture or the color near infrared picture if you're looking at these pictures and thinking to yourself well there's nothing wrong with these I think you've got to be absolutely nuts I really do Woodson West 10th of November 2017 and I need to show you something I find is quite strange and you can see that the chemtrails are being lit up by the lights down below and it reflects the light back colour near infrared and you can see it changes totally but when we look in the black and white spectrum we've got a cross in the sky and we still got this cloud formation isn't it amazing how you look at different frequencies i.e. color is a frequency black and white is a frequency infrared is a frequency and we get to see many different things Mount Laguna South 11th of November 2017 and there is a lensing issue going on here we got this object here and you can see the controls in the background here apart from that everything looks quite normal let's have a look in near infrared colour and here is our object not sure what's going on there and you can see part of the lensing system just here it looks like a Frenzel lens and as you can see we've got an object here and in the center of that object it looks like a triangle and uh, what is this it was not there in the color but in the near infrared color it's there black and white the object now suddenly disappears over here we still have our object here we have our lens flare here or is it a projected image and we've got these lines going down here yet again the controls in the background very very well lit yeah nothing wrong there and here we go black and white infrared there's our sun and sun simulator we've got our artifact there or whatever it might be and you can see just down here and we have this wonderful lens flare down here and look we have this object just here looks like it's got an arrow on it as we can only see it in near infrared it leads me to believe that this object is only visible in infrared might be wrong but that's the only way I explain what I'm looking at there so what are these objects that we can see in the near infrared they're not smudges on the screen not dirty optics or sensors they're not diversion signs for UFOs but whatever they are they shouldn't be there that's for sure so what I'm trying to say is just by taking a photograph in color doesn't give us the full picture because when we take a picture in black and white then we get other things happen this lens flare wasn't even visible nor was this or this in the colour picture as you can see just here looking in the infrared spectrum we get to see something totally totally different and the black and white yet again we get something else turn up totally so maybe just not taking pictures in colour and taking pictures in black and white because they produce a totally different effect as you can well see that's all i've got for you now much love much peace and i'll catch you next time take care